Hey, it's me, Jeremy, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be telling you a little secret technique that magicians have been using, okay? Uh, not only magicians, but gamblers as well. Um, it is a secret technique called palming. The idea is very simple, to be able to hide a card in their hand. Um, this technique must have came about when playing cards were invented, you know. And so, back in the days, um, how they would hide a card in their hand is they would secretly um, palm the card off like this, okay? From the front, it looks pretty good, right? Their hands are natural and on the table. But if you were to see from the side or from the back, then you will see this card sticking out like that, which is not very good, yeah? <laughs> And also, if I were to turn my hand this way, you'll be able to see the card sticking out like so, right? And then it started to evolve. Um, it became um, another thing, like for example, the uh, King of Spades. Some magicians can palm the card off like this, okay? But the problem with this is that, um, look, my hand is not, not big enough. So the card actually sticks out from here and look at the whole hand like this. It's actually very stiff and uh, unnatural, okay? very stiff and unnatural so it's not something and if I were to cover that card over here you will see the card through these uh, windows of my uh, of my fingers so it's not a very good technique as well um, but you know magicians with bigger hands uh, Americans and uh, Europeans they could actually hide the card in their hand like this but over the centuries this technique has been um, has evolved in some ways okay and now, I'm going to um, share with you a little technique that uh, magicians call the invisible palm. Okay, I know it sounds very sketchy, but let me explain to you as we go along, alright? So if you're ready, let's go. So, I'd like to explain to you the invisible palm using only these four kings, okay? Um, I'll tell you more as I go along because I found some interesting things about it as well, okay? So the first card that's on the table is actually the uh, king of spades. I'll leave that over here, okay? Imagine that's the card that you are being dealt with or some other cards that you want to stack on, alright? So I'll square the rest of the three cards over here. The first card to go is the king of hearts, okay? Watch, if I will palm the card like so, wait for a while, it should turn invisible, yeah? You can't see it, but you can actually feel it, all right? And if I wanted to add it to the uh, King of Spades, all I have to do is just press down like this, wait for a few seconds, and I should be able to get the King of Hearts and the King of Spades, right? The King of Hearts was the one that will go over, like I said. Which leaves me, of course, uh, with, with these two, all right? <clears throat> now, um, I sh uh, let me tell you something interesting about these, okay? The interesting thing about the invisible palm is it doesn't matter whether it's face up or face down. Let me explain to you what I mean. Um, for example, if I were to take the uh, king of spades face up this way, okay? And if I were to add it to this spread, it will turn face up, correct? But with the invisible palm, it is entirely different. It doesn't really matter whether it's uh, face up or face down. So the king of spades, same thing, I'll take it over here. Wait for a few seconds. You'll turn invisible, yeah? See? <laughs> And all I have to do is just add it to the spread like this. <laughs> and we have all three cards, right? Like I told you, the King of Spades was the next one to go, which leaves me with the King of Hearts over here. Yeah? So now, one last time. One last time, okay? Um, I'm just going to rearrange them so you can see the pips very clearly. Yeah? These uh, three cards. Just going to leave them over here like that. And we have the King of Hearts. The King of Hearts goes into my palm like so, and if you wait for a few seconds, it actually disappears, right? No, it vanishes, no, no, it doesn't. It becomes invisible, right? And then all I have to do is just add it to the spread like so, press down, and we have all four cards. That is the Hearts, the Spades, the Diamonds, and the Clubs. And that is the mystery or the performance of the invisible palm. So that was it. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed that little performance on the invisible palm, please give my video a thumbs up. And if you want to watch more magic videos as well, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It's that little red button there. Go on, click it, please. Thank you so much. And um, that's it. That's all for me today. Um, you guys take care, stay safe, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.